Well, hello there. Hey, guys. And welcome to a really, really, really special episode of... Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. And I'm Jeremy. And you will have just seen Canella, Jessica, Tara, Nate, Mina, Marcy, Kathleen and Cole. Wow, that was a mouthful. I know, right? It sounds like a TV show from the <laughs> 70s. And they've all premiered an episode showcasing the piece that they're going to be giving away at the gala dinner, which mm -hmm. is the Friday night of the Fluid Art Experience, 17th to the 19th of November. Clearly, we're going to do the same. Yeah. Um, now, we've got a couple of different kinds of classes, but one thing that has definitely grabbed my soul of late, and the show pony's just done his very first one too, yeah. is a blob painting. Uh -huh. So, we've mixed up some blob paints over the last week and a half, uh -huh. and we've been pouring this for you, and this is going to be the piece that we're going to give away at the raffle. So, if you'd like to sit back, enjoy some funky music, Hopefully you've got a cup of tea or coffee in your hand, or maybe even a libation. And uh, watch us pour this blob for you. We'll show you the dry, dried result at the very, very end. And um, yeah, anyway, go watch this and we'll be back very shortly. Well, show pony, we said everyone to sit back and listen to some music, but I have something to say. You do have something to say. I always. do. Always. <laughs> I messed it up. Well, I didn't mess it up. What happened was there was a goober in the bottle of glue. Oh, and no. it clogged up the nozzle when I did my very first blob on the very first blob. And I was thinking to myself, oh no, I hope this isn't how it's always going to be. But I just cleared the goober out and then everything else was fine. Perfect. So maybe a quick note to everyone that's using Mod Podge. Maybe you have to strain it first. The first time it's happened. That's but the first time it's happened. I think yeah. if you shake it up really good, I don't I don't think you should have a problem. That's with a it. fair point. Yeah. And as I'm pouring these big blobs here, I'm counting in my head. Because I kind of want the bigger blobs to be all the same size. So as I was pouring it out, I was just counting to 13 just to make sure that each of the same the blobs were the same size. Yes. Just a little tip there for you. Somebody that takes me and makes me. I've been Yes. You've done your first blob painting. I know, I, I know. It's so exciting. As hooked as I am. But what tips do you have for anyone that's never done this before? Well, I think that if you keep your bottle straight up and down as you're as you're doing your blob, um, that that helps it keep like the same like dynamic of it. So it just spreads out more evenly and okay. it makes a more perfect circle. Good point. Yeah, I like that. And you know, this does level somewhat, so you do get nice circles as you're pouring out. Yes. Um, what about where the nozzle should be? The nozzle should be just in the paint as you as you squeeze it, and as you squeeze it, you should come up, but still keep it in the paint. Yeah, I like to keep it in the paint too, because I feel like it creates like an even mound. It does. Um, I know other people will pour above the, the paint, but for me, I agree, I like that technique for sure. Yeah. Crazy. I want my telephone telling me I'm not a 
Now, it's never blobbed quite so large before. Yes. So what you'll see as we transition from this first layer to the second layer is that I actually left this for 48 hours. Oh, well. Wow. Normally, you only have to blob every 24 yeah. with this recipe, but because these blobs were particularly large, I left this one for 48, because what you don't want to do is pierce the skin of the previous layer. Exactly. Clearly. You want them to be somewhat dry. Um, so yeah, 48 hours for the first layer and then 24 for all the other layers after that. Smart. Now, I, I can see that coming from whenever you pour the fir first pour the paint, that it's a little dull. And now looking at it, the dried results here, the, the first blobs, you can really see the richness of the color and how metallic it is. Yeah, it, it's the glue. You know, you're adding glue to that mixture, so it's a milky consistency. Got it. But the glue dries clear. Mm -hmm. So what you're left there with then is the beautiful kind of true color of the paint as you see it in the nice. tube. Yeah. We saw that with the, the blob that I did with the pearls. Yeah, absolutely, which we will showcase at some point on the channel very soon. Yeah. You did all pearl artesas and it was stunning. Thank you. Don't want another storm to ride. of the screen is those plastic cups mm -hmm. and, and then you, I hope you can see the nozzles of the bottles poking through. Well I invert the bottles into the plastic cups. Yes. Show Pony why? Well that's because uh, there's bubbles in the paint and the glue whenever you mix it and when having it upside down what happens is the bubbles rise to the top so they're not at the nozzle point whenever you go to squeeze that paint out, Absolutely. putting more bubbles into the blob. Absolutely. Now as you squeeze this out, especially with the bigger blobs, you will absolutely get bubbles, mm -hmm. but you can just torch them off with a regular torch. I cut that out of a lot of this because there was a lot of torching. I tend to torch in between the colours when I swap colours over. Now also whenever you're torching like that, you have to be careful because you'll crack the paint on the dried ones, on the dry blobs if you do that. And you don't want to kind of burn the wet yeah, ones either. Exactly. So yeah, just like you would a normal acrylic pour painting, just be careful with your torch. But torch often, torch regular. Let's keep the fire burning, baby, till I'm coming home. Then maybe I won't have the need to let the engine run. So Show Pony, I did five layers in total because I had five colours. Yes. And you, I'm, I might even go back and add more before the fluid art experience, but what are your thoughts on how many layers to put on a blob? Does it matter to you? Um, I think that if you have like different layers, going from five to three to one, um, I think that that looks, it gives it more depth, it kind of gives it more design that way. Right. Uh, so I think that, that having five and then like, you know, three, two, 
I think it looks really, really all good. All on the same piece. Yeah. Yeah, you can see some of them have got one, two, three, four, all the way up to five. Yeah, I, I don't think I would do over five though, because then you're taking it a little bit too far up. Yeah. And when you turn it side, or like... The 3D the, effect. Yeah, I, okay. think it, I think it might just be a little too much. I'm excited to do like 24 blobs on a big old round <laughs> saucer-shaped blob and see what happens. But that's just me. Pony. Yes. Standing all strange. <laughs> I think it's because you've got the finished piece in your I hand. I do, I do. So just to remind you, this was a blob painting that we've poured, and this is all pearls and metallics. So it was pearl white, yep. it was graphite, yep. we've got copper, uh -huh. silver, yep. and gold. Yeah. So it's very sparkly, but super neutral, because we kind of thought that this could probably go in any place in any home. Yeah. Show Pony, why don't you show them? All right, let's do this. Yay. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. I love this. I love that too. I'm so, so awesome. Oh, uh, obsessed with these blob paintings, but this is the first all metallics that we've ever done. And we really, really loved it. Yeah, you can see the, the blob. This is also the painting that has the biggest blobs on it that I've ever done. Yeah. Those big blobs are huge. Managed to get really good layers on those ones too. Yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I hope that you guys love the blobs as much as we do because we're yeah. having a lot of fun of it with it. And this guy has just done his very first all pearl Arteza yeah. blob painting, which is stunning. So we'll put that oh, one up you. on the channel real soon. Yeah, you've done a really good job of it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm excited to show that one as well. So if you haven't already, please go check out Canella. Jessica, Tara, Nate, Mina, Marcy, Kathleen, and Cole. Absolutely. The other eight people that are going to be with us at the Fluid Eye Experience in Dallas, Richardson, Texas. And that's November the 17th to the 19th. Now, tickets are still available. A couple of things just to remind you. We have the aprons for pre-sale. Yep. That's the Fluid Eye Experience November 22 aprons. And they're a little cheaper if you get them online. You'll be able to pick those up at registration when you register. Yeah. You've also got the Thursday taco buffet lunch and the Friday boxed lunch options to pre-purchase so that there isn't a huge rush and line at the restaurant over lunch times. You've still got the opportunity to go and book your hotel room at the bulk discounted rate. And the tickets for classes other than Marcy's one-on-one -on -one consultations are still free because she is sold out. Yeah. And you can still get the meet and greet for Thursday night, the gala dinner for Friday, where you'll win all, have a chance to win all these wonderful pieces that the nine artists have poured for you. And then also the wrap party on Saturday. Everything you'll find on the fluidartexperience.com website. Go check it out. Come see us, come have some fun. That's it, show pony. All right, that was a lot. It was, <laughs> that was two and a half hours worth of pouring fun yes. with nine giveaways. So hopefully you love this. We really, really enjoyed doing this for you. And if we're gonna see you at the Fluid Art Experience, we can't wait to give you some big old hugs. So until then, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And we'll see you back here on Tuesday. All right, tell them bye. Bye guys. Bye, we'll see you soon.